Surely whatsoever God commanded would be accomplished according to his own will. And we are told in Acts 17, 30, In the times of this ignorance God winked at, but now commandeth all men everywhere to repent. So God's commanded all men everywhere. All men everywhere. That includes everywhere, right? It includes all men, right? To repent. Why aren't they repenting if God's will is accomplished sovereignly? It means without, without contradiction. It means he reigns supremely. It means he is, according to the Calvinists, the robot God who controls both sides of the board. He can move that person to repent if he wills them to. Uh, obviously, they're saying he doesn't will them to, even though he says in his word he does. That's a contradiction. The whole house of Calvinism falls when you show his will being violated once, and I've showed you over and over and over, but now commandeth all men everywhere to repent. I want to tell you that the doctrine of Calvinism is a violation in itself of God's will, because God wants everyone, all, whosoever, the whole world, to know that they can be saved. Amen. If I didn't believe that, I wouldn't be preaching this morning. Amen.